Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the hybridization of XeCl2 molecule. It's a chemical formula for xenon dichloride and to determine its hybridization we are first going to look at its lowest structure. So here is the lowest structure of XeCl2 in which xenon atom is forming two single bonds with two chlorine atoms over here. Besides that there are three lone pairs on the central atom. So uh, to make it really easy and convenient for you to find out the hybridization we are going to consider the steric number that can help us find out the hybridization. So the steric number for this molecule would be 5 because here we are considering central atom as xenon over here. It has two bonding pairs of electrons as you can see and there are three non-bonding pairs of electrons. So the steric number becomes 5. Now referring to this table we can see that the steric number 5 corresponds to sp3d hybridization and hence the hybridization for xenon atom in this molecule would be sp3d. This is because uh, xenon atom needs to uh, form 5 hybrid orbitals to accommodate all these uh, pairs of electrons. Two of them are bonding pairs of electrons and three are non-bonding pairs of electrons. So um, the central atom needs to form hybrid orbitals to accommodate all the pairs of electrons that are around uh, it. Ma it may be bonding pairs of electrons or non-bonding pairs of electrons but generally this is the most convenient way to find out the hybridization of XeCl2 and I hope this video helps you to understand the entire method to find out the hybridization of any given molecule. For more such videos on lowest structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.